Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the signing of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was a milestone moment in humankind history. Right after the Second World War and the horrors that it has left us with, humanity needed a robust and powerful declaration to prevent the atrocities of another war and address the flagrant violations of human rights. The declaration brought hope, and as it was put by Eleanor Roosevelt, it is more intelligent to hope rather than to fear, to try rather than not to try. Over the past 75 years, humanity has made remarkable progress towards protecting and promoting human rights. However, more needs to be done. The world remains volatile. New challenges arise, ranking from climate change and new technologies to discrimination and violence. Taking advantage of the auspicious occasion and building further on, Cyprus' first ever candidacy for membership to the Human Rights Council for 2025-2027, Cyprus pledges to intensify its work to cover gaps and further protect the rights of children and persons with disabilities, as well as eliminate gender-based violence and discrimination. Starting with the rights of the children and following up to the successful operation of the Children's House, which provides medical, social and psychological support to child victims of sexual abuse, the Government of the Republic of Cyprus will operate a second house with a view to reach out to more children in need. To promote dignity, social inclusion and welfare of persons with disabilities, the Government plans to embark on a five-year national strategy with special emphasis on increasing employment opportunities for persons with disabilities through new schemes, offering access to employment and enhancing independent living. Turning now to gender-based violence, Cyprus is one of the first countries to introduce femicide in the national legal framework as an offence separate from homicide, a testament of Cyprus' unwavering commitment to deconstruct gender stereotypes and achieve gender equality. Cyprus aims at raising universal awareness about criminalizing femicide as a way of contributing to further address gender equalities. I wish to lastly refer to my government's commitment to tackle discrimination. Cognizant that school is a vital component of building social respect and safeguarding human rights, we will establish a monitoring mechanism aiming at satirizing the assessment of the implementation of the existing anti-racist policy at schools, so preventing discriminations, in incidents and promoting respect for all. Mr. President, Cyprus remains steadfast in its commitment to accelerate work and cooperate closely with all to achieve our shared objectives that emanate from the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Thank you very much.